I've been on a mission to find the best non-toxic, non-stick cookware since 2021. So naturally, I had to try the green pan. And two years later, this is my review. If you've been doing any research at all into non-toxic, non-stick cookware, then you've probably already heard about the green pan. Most traditional non-stick cookware that you'll find in the store are made with chemicals called PFAs. Most of the experts are very split on whether or not these chemicals are harmful, how harmful they are, what side effects they may cause in the long run. But the most solid answer that you're going to get is that they are not fully understood. More research has to be done, but their lack of confidence is not assuring. And that is where the green pan comes in. I've been using the Rio collection for the past two years. Unlike traditional non-stick cookware, it does not use any suspicious chemicals, but is instead coated in ceramic to achieve its non-stick properties, and it is reinforced with diamonds, whatever that means. You can get the entire set that I bought for about $135 and it even comes with little bamboo spatulas and spoons because bamboo and silicone cooking utensils are recommended to avoid scratching the surface. Non-toxic, non-stick, diamond sprinkled, but is it all too good to be true? I think yes. Two months after purchase, regular use, and following the manufacturer's instructions religiously. I'm talking bamboo and silicone utensils only, cooking on a low heat, only ever hand washing, and not even popping it into a 400 degree preheated oven one time. The one that I cooked with the most did start to lose its non-stick properties. So I did what any reasonable non-stick pan owner would do. I drove 30 minutes out of my way to buy their special restoration sponges. According to their website, carbonization can happen when oils and fats burn onto the pan with repeated cooking. And the sponges that they sell are designed to erase them without damaging the pan's coating. Well, let me tell you, I scrubbed and I scrubbed and the pan still stuck. So I stopped cooking with that first pan and I started using another one more regularly for most of my nonstick jobs. And that one was probably good for maybe like six months before the same thing started to happen. I mean, I guess six is better than two, but I really don't use them that much anymore. I've slowly been replacing them with a different type of non-stick, non-toxic pan. It's more natural, it's called black carbon steel. It's literally just carbon and iron, and if you season it right, it's just as non-stick as the green pan was right out of the box. But this is a picture of what happened one of the last times I did try to cook with it. I think I was stir-frying potatoes. Most of them never made it out. And here is a recent video of me trying to fry pot stickers on it. It didn't do as bad as it normally does. It got a little camera shy. It was messing with me. But as you can see, it burnt the bottom of the pot stickers and they're like charred to the bottom of the pan. Not a pretty picture. I do want to be fair to green pan though. I have no complaints about the pots and I've had them for two years. They still work great and they haven't lost their non-stick properties yet. Then again, I'm not usually cooking anything on the bottom of them. I usually fill them with water to make soups or, you know, heat up chili, things of that nature. I also use them much more infrequently uh, than the ones that stopped working. So that's probably part of the factor as well. I also really do like the lids that I came with and still use them all the time with my other pans. The smallest pan from my set also works really well. I like to use this one for like a single egg or chorizo and I like to use it infrequently because I know if I use it regularly it's going to die. <laughs> Because I just use it once in a while, it still works really good. It's just for everyday cooking, I think that you need something more durable. I will also say that I really like how the handles do not get hot. On my cast iron and my black carbon steel, you know, I do have to use an oven mitt before grabbing it. But these ones um, have a lot less heat conductivity, so that's nice. And they're also very lightweight compared to cast iron and black carbon steel. But all in all, my professional opinion as chef of my house, is that you can do better. And if you are really set on trying them, I would only get one and use it very sparingly for your toughest cooking projects. But why even waste your money? At this point, I mostly use my black carbon steel and cast iron pans. The cast iron I use for grilling steak, uh, you know, cooking ground beef, things like that, filleting some fish, mostly meat, I suppose. 
And the black carbon steel pans I like to use for eggs, pot stickers, sauteing vegetables, frying potatoes, just anything that tends to get stuck to the bottom of the pan more. You do have to season them properly first, but it takes like 15 minutes and once you're done, they work just as good as a brand new green pan. And instead of getting worse over time, they actually end up getting better. I did recently make a full review video on them, so I do recommend that you check that out here if you like chemical-free, breakage-free eggs and other foods that are hard to cook with non-nonstick. This is in no way sponsored. I was just pretty unpleasantly surprised <laughs> with how fast the green pans deteriorated, and so I just wanted to make a video that warned you first of all and secondly gave you a better option all right well i really hope that you found this helpful tell your friends subscribe for more tips on natural living biblical femininity and the art of homemaking and i will see you in my next one thank you for watching